there any 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 way back um, from here? Because you know you you want that camaraderie, you want that get behind it all, and you know the tide can turn, get through no. the rough moments. No. But that that today was a, just a different level. Trust the process. <laughs> trust the process, man. You know what I mean? That's what they told me. They told you to trust the process. They told United fans to trust the process. They said DNA football, attacking way, Alex Ferguson, you know. For me, it's, it's anything but that, you know. For me, Ty turned me. I, I see this some coming two years ago. For me, he should have been sacked Newcastle, October the 7th, 2019. I see the signs. I see the lack of identity in this football club, in this, in this team, you know. And for me, what what what, what are we what are we celebrating? What are we what are we here for? What is this club going? Where's the direction of this football club going? For me, it's gone beyond Oli in for Zolia. <laughs> for, for any any yeah, fans that's, that, that's that's what I think is important yeah, here, side. Si, because just quickly, because because people will try and do that whole like, if you're against Oli, you're this, or if you listen, don't think he's the right manager, he's this, and if you're if you're for him, then you're this. Listen, I like the fact that you're saying this isn't about Oli in Oli out. Let's look at our club and where it currently is right now. Listen, we're in a mess, mate. For me, I said, I talked about AC Milan and I talked about the fallen giants of, of European football. Manchester United are the fallen giants of English football. You know, you're looking at the upward trajectory, Man City, Liverpool. We were five, ten years behind, you know, ahead of them. You know, Norrid sold to me and he said to me, we were five, ten years ahead of them. But we've got bankers in charge of this football club who, for me, don't care about this football club. And what they're doing is, and I said it two years ago, I said, what they're doing is, is they, they knew what they were doing with Oliver Solskjaer. They knew he's the stopgap, he's the kind of shield for the Glazers. He's the one that can say, you know what, I won't talk bad about this club. I will let you run the way you want to run. Because I'm, I'm, I'm here, I'm a legend, the fans know I'm a legend. Do you they think won't... he's taken the fall for it? Do you oh, think now he's... Crazy? Of course, of course. Because for me, when I, when, when, when I look at it, it's lambs to the slaughter. And for me, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was never the right fit for this football club. And People got clouded because at the end of the day, it was Jose Mourinho who played toxic football. He was absolutely toxic, mate. You're talking about the fans celebrating there. There weren't no celebrating. It's only because Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is a legend yeah. that is his sentiment involved. For me, I've always made sure that I've, I've separated the two. Sentiment and who, is he right for the football club? And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, for me, no tactics, no style of play, not even a kind of a coherence of his plan. He sat there in the dugout and he's telling Mike Feeling, a guy who was where? Where was he, Mike Feeling for all these years? Australia. Australia. You know, and he's telling him to, to coach the team. I seen Ronaldo go mad at the coaching staff. Did you see that? I didn't see it. Mate, I seen it. He was living. He was like, what's the plan? He's like a fan. Ronaldo loves the football club and he's thinking to himself, what is the plan at Old Trafford? And for any United fan looking at this right now, what is the plan? And for me, it's alarming because they will keep this guy in a job, mate. I'm telling you right now, we've got no hope here. We're just fans. We're, listen, we'll be here in Man City and we'll be celebrating the team like it is because we're just fans. And you have to, we're going to support. We and, want, and we want us support, to do well. But the bigger picture is flex, which is quite alarming to be honest with you. It's what is the overall picture? We're, are we a top four club? We're 11 on points with Arsenal. This is, the, this is the club, me and you, and I put my hands up here, that we call the banter club. We call them the club that they, they celebrate top four. <laughs> That's what we are doing right now. We're celebrating top four. And I tell you what, mate, Leicester ahead of us. Where are we at? That is our remit. And I'm looking at thinking right now, what is the aim for this football club? This is a squad for me, challenging. That's the challenge for the league. And it's almost him, you know, and again, he comes out saying, these guys need to settle in. Maybe see in a couple of months. Couple of months. Is that what we are now, right now? And I've, I've called it for two years and I was called a fake fan and whatnot. I'm not here to say I told you so, yeah, yeah. but I'm also here to say that the reality was two years ago. Because for me, if he can't train Daniel James, he told him, see you later, I can't train you anymore. All these players like, you know, Jesse Lingard, if you couldn't even get these guys playing a system and a style of the way he was playing, and that's why I call it two years ago, how can he get the level of Varane, these guys, Shaw, and, and, and the new players in Ronaldo, Bruno, Pogba, you know what? He's putting Pogba on the right wing, Flex. Do you deepen this? He's put Pogba on the right wing and then he's kept McFred on just for the sake of he, it. He went, he, he had, we had two holding midfielders yep. in, the first, in the first half and got torn apart. Well, there you go then. Then he, put, when he went to a diamond and put McTominay there yep. by himself. You know, people, people talk about, you know, Oli is this and that. I've always said even the man management of his style has been the worst of, of the lot. For me, that should be sackable in itself. For me, his man management of the team to never change at any point. It's almost the fans are the coaches. We're the coaches. You and I are saying to people, attack, attack, attack. Oli the social is like, 
Yeah, you know what? It could change. You know, get that one goal and back and win for something to maybe. Well, there you go for me, I've, and, and and you know what the sad reality is, yeah, is the fact that there is no plan at this football club, and they, oh, you know what they're doing to us, yeah, they're lying to us about DNA. They're putting Silent Ferguson in the stand so they can get a camera and say, you know what, that's that's Alex Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in the next four or five years. What they're trying to do, they're clever what they're trying to do. They're trying to put the Red Army across in, in the Stretford end to assume that the fans are behind Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. They're doing all these little things and everyone's kind of blindsided by it. Not me, mate, because I know where this football club's at and it's down to the bottom. It's rotten. And I think for me, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, for me, for me, the, the right job is to say, you know what, I've took it as far as I can. But would you do that if you weren't paying any rent in the house? No, listen, Oli's not going to resign. He's not going to resign. And more to the point, we're not going to wake up tomorrow morning and Oli is not the manager anymore. Mm. So my question to you is then, <laughs> let's, deal, let's, let's talk about what is... You, I get what you're saying about where you see it going and we can all see where we're at. Mm. Awful. He's going to be the manager against Spurs. He's going to be the manager against Atalanta next. He's going to be the manager know, against... No, but he is going to be. What I'm saying is, is in the immediate aftermath now, what do you do against Spurs? Do you just go, listen, we need five at the back. We can't do it. That what do you do? do, you do? That's five at the well, back today. Eventually it was, yeah. it. It might have been six because you had McFred. You know, that, what's going to change? Nothing's going to change apart from, you know what? And I'm glad there's no Carabao Cup in the midweek, you know. Mm. I'm glad. Because you know why? We would have got a win there and they'd be like, oh, we're back. United all. Oh, they're playing for the manager. I'm glad there's no match here. And we go into Man City. You see Man City on the weekend. And I tell you what, mate, I taught them as bad as they are, mm. at least they'll grind out a result. They'll get something. There's something there with them, yeah? But it's like almost like United fans are thinking, one game away, a couple of weeks, he's had a squad that he's been backed. For me, he's the worst manager we've had. As long as I can remember, he's worse than David Moyes. Some, some guy tried to say to me that was worse than David Moyes. At least with David Moyes, he had an Asian team. He had, he had, he had no place that he could sign. This guy's been given relentless money. And people can say, well, the Glaze, it's not their money. This, for the matter of fact, this, he's been given Ronaldo, Varane, Bruno Fernandes. He's been given a, listen, for me, when you look at the bench, it's better than the first team. <laughs> what does that tell you a lot? So if the guy's not using the tools he's been provided with, then surely it's down to him. He's got Donny van der Beek on the bench crying for games. He's got Cavani on the bench. He's got how many Marsh, whoever's in there, Bailly. And he's saying, no, you know what? I've got my, I've got my favourites. Luke Shaw's my favourite. Harry Maguire's my favourite. Lindelof. You know, I know what I'm doing. I'm a legend here. And almost everyone becomes silent because you know why? It's sentiment that gets involved. And I always said for me, day one, you have to separate the two. Sentiment and, and where you want to win. Does anyone want to win here? Like, I, I don't know. Everyone's talking about top four. What, what, my United football club and everyone's talking about and that's, and that's our football club so for me the Glazers don't care Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is happy to be there because at the end of the day obviously he cares and he's, he wants, he wants, he's got the best will in the world to turn it around but then again, but if you've got, got the best will in the world but you haven't got it yeah. you know I mean? it's going to be forever mate you're going to be coming here mm. in five years time and saying is it going to work is it going to work you know I look at for me you go and get contact for me this team needs to win because <laughs> if we go three or four years without another trophy for me it's all gone Go and get who you but we need a structured football club. And that's a, that's why we wear this. Look, I'm wearing this, glazes out. But again, that's gone all of a sudden quiet because they know what they're doing. They're bringing Ronaldo and everyone's doing the suey in the car park. What's this going on about? Like seriously, man, United fans, I understand there's joy here, but if we're doing suey in the car park and we're losing games and we're always getting by against it, you know what I mean, flex here. Where is this football club going? For me, it's, it's for me. Sancho talked about scary hours. This is scary, I always think.